If there were a favorite movie quote of mine that most people probably wouldn't remember, it would have to be this one. You got a size 17 back there, B. No. Pretty sure I said that line randomly so much for about at least four years straight. Hey, it's D.D. Conway, and let's talk about Roll Bounce. Roll Bounce stars many great actors and entertainment stars like Bow Wow, Brandon T. Jackson, Shay McBride, Megan Good, and others. Roll Bounce is a story of young Xavier who grows up in the late 70s skating era. His mother has passed, and him, his father, and sister are coping and trying to deal with life afterwards. Things are already hard for X, and his father expects him to help out around the house more, especially being his father can't find a job as an engineer right now, but the kids have no clue about that. Any other kid, X doesn't really care about any of that shit. He just wants to have fun. Be real. It took me watching this movie over to realize that X's dad was low-key green as hell. Constantly on his son's ass because he's lying about having a job. But I understand, times do get hard. All X wants to do is have fun and skate with his friends. Boo Naps Jr. and Mix Mike. Toy train track mouth ass ends up finding her way with the boys and becomes friends with them in no time. You need to stop chewing on them yellow crayons and start scrubbing with some Colgate, yuck mouth. <laughs> have their neighborhood rink that they usually skate at on their part of town. But when it's closed down, they now have to go to the rich part of town and skate. Sweetwater Roller Rink. And boy, that motherfucker was sweet. <gasps> no! Most importantly, Sweetwater was home to sweetness. All the names he could have came up with, and he picked that. Sweetness is the cool ass skater that makes Nick Cannon look like a great value version of himself. All the girls love him, and him and his crew are the undisputed champs of the annual skating competition. They don't like X and his crew, and they make sure to let them know. And his friends know that there's only one way to beat him. And that's in the competition. I love this movie so much when it first came out. Some of the actors like Bow Wow acting his ass, but it wasn't so bad that it took away from the movie for me. It had so many different elements that I loved. I loved that when X went ham with that bat, when he found out that his dad wasn't working, that boy ass went to work on that car. This is the result of his dad not properly addressing, you know, his mom's death. And crazy shit happens when you do things like that. And you don't grieve properly. I love the fact that they had to beat the street like home. Man, this type of time spans back for generations. My parents had to do it. They passed it down to us in the early 2000s. It definitely told us, be back before that light cut on. So when I saw X running down the street and the light cut on for him, my heart kind of dropped. I could definitely relate to that scene. I love how they had Kalita Smith out there looking like Miss Parker before Miss Parker. And Charlie Murphy and Mike Epps as the trash collectors were funny as hell. Them explaining that point system to X was probably one of the funniest things in this movie to me. Hell, even having Nick Cannon as b was funny as hell. We also can't forget a lot of our childhood crushes. Megan Good. Even how Tori ended up going from train track mouth to bad bitch overnight, Roll Bounce was a great coming-of-age film that gave and explored different situations that many of us have gone through. Even down to the end, X wants to try a move at the skating competition, but he's too timid about it. He's frustrated with his falling, but his friends keep telling him, if you don't fall, how will you know what getting up is like? And back on it, X knocked his damn self out. But the fact that he tried the trick and he gained respect meant everything to me. And he still left with Megan Good. Roll Bounce taught me to go for it. It taught me about perseverance through hard times. And it taught me that even when you lose, you can sometimes still come out as the winner. 